Hello, hello. Thanks for joining me for another video of my channel. In this video, we're going to add decimal numbers. It's the second question of the test without a calculator. So we need to go back and relearn how to add numbers. So the first step to solving any problem is to know the basic theory behind it. And then the next step is to actually do the work. So in this case, the theory is that we need to know how to align these numbers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just rewrite them on top of each other by aligning the decimal place. So make sure that the commas or the dots in French, it's a comma in English, it's a dot. Make sure those are aligned. So it's 0 0.735 and 0 0.0005. So note that this is the tenths place, this is the hundreds place, the thousands, and the tenths of thousands here. And this is the unit, so we don't have units. This is the tenths, this is the hundreds, and then thousands and ten thousands. Okay, so we start from the right, the most right number. And we add all the numbers in that column. So you can imagine that there's little zeros. For everywhere that there's no numbers, you can imagine that there's little zeros. And 0 plus 0 is 0, plus 0 is 0, plus 5 is just 5. So then that is our equation, like our equal line. You can think of it that way. And we're adding these numbers, right? So you get 5, and then 0 plus 0 is 0, plus 5 plus 0, we get 5 again. And 2 plus 3 is 5. So we get a bunch of 5s. And then we get 6 plus 7. I think that's 13. So we write a 3. But we have 1 left over. So we carry it over to the 1. Because we have 13 tenths, right? So 13 times 0 0.1 is equal to 1.3. So we have 1 unit and that's what we carry over so therefore we have one plus all zeros we get this number here and we if we look above that is b and that's it to build intuition here what we can do is to separate the 0.735 into three numbers and i like to build intuition as a last step because it helps us understand how to do math instead of memorize it. So this, the first number is simply this one, 0 0.6, and then 0 0.735, you can rewrite it like this, right? You have 0 0.7 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.005. This is equal to 0 0.735. So note that we're, if we do this, we should get the same number that we got earlier. And then 5 and then 0 0.0005. So if we add all these guys up again, we get, maybe I'll make a nicer equal line. So we get 5 in this column, we get 5 in this column, we get 5 in this column, and then we get 3 and then 1, which is 1.3555. It's the same thing. 